that impresses me most about the Sermon on the Mount is something that I've only come to grips with recently, which is that it really is written for me. Do I mourn? Well, I'm blessed that I haven't had a lot of tragic experiences in my life, but I have experienced mourning. And now I know that that promise that I will be comforted is for me in this day, in this age, not some heavenly reward, but now. Can I be a peacemaker? You know, the, the, two, par the two beatitudes about making peace and being persecuted, they go back to back because this, the phrase to make peace means to be, a per from Hebrew, would mean to be a person who runs after peace, pursue peace. But the word to persecute is from the very same root in Hebrew, radaf. To be persecuted is to be pursued. So you pursue peace, and as a result, you may be pursued. And the people who make peace often suffer for it. These things are for us today, and they're a calling and a comfort and a way of life. And what is really important is that it's not about fame and it's not about glory. It's about an inner quality of our relationship with God and with each other, and that we can do it because it's the right thing to do. And we don't have to be rewarded for it by other people, but God is keeping track. He knows every hair on our heads. He's watching over it all, and, and the reward will be from Him.